Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a cozy version of a video today because it is officially fall and I am so 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 excited because I love fall obviously like most people not because of just the fashion though that's one of the reasons it's mostly because I hate being hot and I hate being sweaty and no amount of deodorant after having a baby it has worked so if anybody has any tricks on how to solve constant sweating please let me know but yeah, ever since I had a baby, I'm constantly sweaty, so summer has not been fun. Not that I've had a baby for very long. She's only like 10 months old. But anyway, let's get started. We're doing a wrap-up and my favorites of summer. Things I've worn over and over again. Things I've just enjoyed wearing and will probably be coming out as soon as summer gets next year. Which I'm glad is a couple months away. Let's get started. So my most worn shirt of all time this summer is this favorite daughter blue and white stripe one if you follow me on instagram and if you don't follow me on instagram you should follow me on instagram it's a hijabi edit i'll pop it on the screen here but i have posted this shirt over and over again i cannot stop wearing it because because of the slightly open bottom it's like has it doesn't have buttons here and it just kind of tapers open a little bit i feel like it gives the same effect as tucking or like cinching your waist it makes you look a little bit taller it, it's less effort than say tucking in your shirt or like trying to figure out a way to give your waistline some definition so you look a bit taller or don't look frumpy and oversized so this shirt has been just a constant if this goes on sale um on favorite daughter or revolver or anywhere because i got this through revolve i would maybe purchase the white linen version of this because a classic oversized white shirt is always going to be in and i think it would be a great investment piece but yeah, this is by far my most worn top of all summer. Okay, so next up is this wrap top from Cause. I have worn this top so much this summer. Not just this summer, but now this is a couple years old. So unfortunately I can't link it anymore, but I've seen a secondhand version. So I'll link that. It's in a green color. I got this a couple years ago and I did wear this before I got pregnant, the summer before I got pregnant. So like 2022, I believe a lot. But this summer, I have worn this constantly because it gives you that waist definition. I don't wear heels as much anymore because I do have a baby. And so even if I do wear a heel, it's very tiny or non-existent. And when you don't wear something that makes you look a bit taller, you do need more waist definition to give you a less frumpy look, in my opinion, or like some more tucking, just something to give you a little bit more shape. So the waist gets really cinched in this. It just gives like a nice effect. It's so chic and cute. Um, I get asked on my TikTok all the time where I got it. And I feel really bad because I don't have um, a link to give you. But I will find a couple other. I have been looking a little bit. And I do. I have found a couple options that are very similar. So I will be linking those below here. But yeah, this has been a lot. It's also linen. I don't know if I mentioned that. But it just, it's perfect for summer. And I love the color black. I think there's nothing chicer than black in summer. I think it just... Just because you shouldn't be wearing, like people think that it's, summer is all about color, but for me, black and neutrals are very beautiful in summer for some reason. I actually like my color in fall and spring. Um, and summer, I like it very light and breezy. Moving on to pants. These are probably my most worn pants of all time ever, maybe, but definitely this summer because I've been using them as almost like a jogger sweat pant, but a linen version of it. This is the Dexter... Babbitton Dexter from Aritzia pant. They no longer sell it, unfortunately. So I actually bought this one secondhand as well. So I owned a couple. I ripped them apart because I wore them so much in the summer in Turkey. Um, and they just kind of like shredded to pieces because I, I was like sweating constantly. And back then I did not know about um, shorts to wear underneath to like um, wear chafing. I thought that chafing was my issue to be quite honest. I've never had chafing issues with something like that. But you know, it's like the sweat drenching into your clothes and becoming very wet and then that the salt in the sweat kind of like um i don't know the right word for it but basically it helps loosen the fabric and and it gets easier to rip so tmi on this but that's what happened to my other pants i had a, a maroonish one and then i had like a khaki one and both of them unfortunately did not make it past one summer in turkey I ended up getting these second hand after i came back in a 1x so they're kind of loose on me but that's okay and they just they're perfect as a jogger they're just very light they're very chic because of the they have like a little bit of a cinched um ankle so the front is just like a normal ankle and then on the back it just has like a little bit of ruching a little bit of elastic and it just gives i don't know some shape it makes it feel more like a jogger than just a pant and yeah love these and i've been wearing the thigh shorts underneath it because those have been a lifesaver second pant 
These are the Everlane Cur Way High Curve Jean. So basically a barrel leg pant. They are so chic and I'm not in love with this color of denim. I've been really loving the indigo denim that's been come out and ever since then I'm not as excited about regular color denim for some reason, weirdly, but I don't love the color of these, but I've worn these too that they go with everything. They, the barrel is just perfect. It's not oversized, it's not undersized. It's like that perfect barrel leg jean for casual wear so it's not like because my citizen to humanity ones are huge and they're just like a huge barrel and they're amazing but i probably wouldn't wear them for grocery shopping to be quite honest but these are like if casual runs you pop this on it just gives you that perfect leg shape so that you can wear a top it's a bit looser because i do feel like barrel kind of balances out the curves so yeah these curve ones from everlane are amazing i would I'd definitely invest in a couple of different colors I need it too. I'm not sure yet, but I'm I'm doing some more try-ons of denim before I commit to those. But if I cannot find anything else, I will be leaning back and going back and just buying a couple more of the Everlane Kurt ones. Starting off with shoes, I have two options. One is my casual wear, and this is these H&M slides. They're pure leather. They're from H&M Premium, and they come out with these every year early summer and you have to instantly grab them in your size otherwise they just sell out i finally got my hands on the black version of these earlier this summer but i still got more use out of this color over the black ones they are a dupe of not the oron from hermes but the ysl ones i don't know what they're called um, but ysl has a similar I'll, I'll, I'll attach a link here not exactly the same but similar idea to the YSL ones over the Orons though the Orons are really cute too but I really like how I don't know this it's just a very clean look it's not polyester so a, a polyurethane or whatever that Target and all the other dupes are this is pure leather and there's something about it that the stitching is very clean that just looks a bit more classier than the other dupes I've seen and I've just worn these so much because of the color I think because it just kind of adds a little bit of a I don't know, summery feel, like this color. I don't know what this color is actually called. Like, I'm looking for, I'm sorry, tan. This tan, the tan, I mean, it instantly brings more of a vibe to an outfit. So I have just gotten so much wear out of these casually. Um, and they are starting to like kind of get, here, let me show you. I need to get a little bit of wear on the tips. So I'll definitely take them to the cobbler whenever I go, because I have to take another pair of shoes as well. But I feel like I could get another summer, maybe even two summers out of these before they kind of look like a disaster and even then i wouldn't toss them i'll be honest i'll just use them as some other kind of slipper these larude no i'm not going to touch these on the bottom because they're kind of gross but these larude mule slide situation a heeled sandal and this has gotten so much use silver is the vibes and i feel like silver is such a neutral color like you can but it's also like a brightening color like it's like instantly makes your outfit look a bit brighter a bit chicer these have gotten so much wear um for anything that isn't casual no, these are definitely reserved for more like brunch maybe like hanging out with friends or um dinner out maybe going to a coffee shop they're casual enough to wear to like a coffee shop but not casual enough to wear to a grocery store but i'm gonna stop talking now these are amazing i would 100 percent commit to another color like i think they have the gold it's just that I got these on sale for 50% off, so there's no way I'm gonna spend $300 on the gold pair, which have not come on sale. But yeah, 100% recommend. I've gotten so much wear, I cannot wear it to take them out in spring again next year. Because they look really chic with like a sweater and linen pants, I feel like would be such a chic look with this. Ooh, maybe I should do that for like a fall transition outfit. Anyways, moving on. Now for bags. This bag, uh, this Dragon Diffusion Santa Rosa is I didn't get this in the beginning of summer, so it's definitely more of a late summer purchase, but since I've gotten it, I've gotten so much wear out of it that I couldn't not have it in this video. Um, it is just so comfortable. It does slip off of my shoulder a bit much, so I do kind of wish I had gotten the Santa Croc. I avoided the Santa Croc. It's, the Santa Croc has a shorter handle, so it's like a shoulder bag, um, and I thought this could be crossbody, but like I'm not that thin. Like Maybe for some people, this is a crossbody bag, but for me, this is definitely still a shoulder bag. Um, and because of the longer strap, it does fall off my shoulder a bit more. Whereas I feel like the Santa Croc, because it's a shorter shoulder strap, it would stay on a bit more. It's okay, maybe I'll get another one. Who knows? But yeah, this has gotten so much wear. It's kind of like a tote almost. You just toss things in. And I am in my tote era right now because 
Organization is not a skill that comes naturally to me and ever after having a baby it's even worse because I just want to toss a diaper in there. I want to toss um, wipes and a bottle and some of her puffs and I don't want to like have to organize everything into my bag or make it fit. So this just kind of works because I can just toss it in. Since so it's kind of like a tote bag, if you will. Like it's like an in-between. It doesn't have any lining on it, but it just, it works anyway. The color is tan, so it might, again brings out that like a little bit of a summery vibe to it um, and it goes really well with the shoes that I showed earlier, the H&M slides. So this has been my most loved bag this summer. Even though it came pretty late in summer, it's still the most loved. That is all. I will be posting some content on my Instagram slash TikTok in the next couple of weeks. I've actually been posting pretty consistently on there um, this past week. So I would love for you to follow me there because I want to do a lot more styling content on there. Um, and that is all, I think. Yeah, I think that's all. I will see you guys next week. I hope this video was helpful. I'm so I'm sorry if it wasn't like amazing because I have just gone back from a trip the day before yesterday. We got back pretty late at night, around midnight, um, from Dallas, and yeah, I wanted to take a day yesterday to chill out, catch up on life, and then um, yeah, this goes live tomorrow. And you probably don't want to know any more information. I will see you next week.